it's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 9 of The Walking Dead. In this video we're going to be looking at the radio mystery, who was on the radio. Now for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the cliffhanger of the finale of season 9, season 9 episode 16 called The Storm. At the end of that episode we had a voice coming through the radio saying, hello, hello, calling out live on the open air is anybody out there obviously the way it came through we don't exactly know who was on the other side there wasn't any indication about who it could be so everything is pretty much up in the air in terms of who it could be and it could be just about anyone however there are several candidates that are there in terms of people that are very very likely to be on the other side now before jumping into this video, I do have a quick announcement. We have a merch store created for the channel. It's on Teespring. I'll leave a link in the description. You can go there and check out the merchandise items that we have. We have a variety of different items. We have some Walking Dead shirts right here, which I think are pretty cool. And also we have some merch for the channel. If you want to join our community and support the channel, this one particularly, it's going to arrive in the next couple of weeks here. I will be showcasing it on the channel when I do receive it in case you want to kind of see it in person before you purchase. And I'm planning on doing the same thing for this one as well. Now, there are three that are definitely up there on everyone's list. One of those characters is Stephanie from the comic book or her replacement, whoever it's going to be. Now, for those of you that are non-comic readers, Stephanie is just from a new group or a new community that we're going to be introduced to after the Whispers. Stephanie is actually from that community and in the comics, she communicates with Eugene and they get introduced to the community and this community is called Commonwealth. So in a way, Stephanie is the introduction to the Commonwealth. So my very first choice would be Stephanie. I think it's extremely likely that it's going to be either Stephanie or a replacement for Stephanie's comic character in the TV show that came through the radio and is asking if anyone's out there. The next choice that I have is Jadis. Jadis, I think, is also very likely to be the one on the other side of the radio. For one, we do know that she was talking through the walkie-talkie to the helicopter community before she left. And also, Jadis is a big connection that we have, or she's the connective tissue to the Rick movies at this point. So, in a way, we didn't get Rick on the radio at the end of the episode like we thought we would. Jadis is the next best thing, because if it is in fact her that came through, and if the story is built around that, that could definitely pave the road for connecting the TV show to the movie in a way where we have Michonne or maybe even others leaving to try to go find Rick when they communicate with Jadis and find out that he is alive. So I think it's extremely likely that it's Jadis that's coming through the radio. So she's my second pick. Third person that could possibly be on the radio is Maggie. Now for Maggie, I am putting her third, but I think it's a little unlikely for it to be Maggie. Yes, it's possible because the last time we saw her or the last kind of information we have on Maggie is that she left to Georgie's community to help her and it's extremely possible that she's trying to reach out from Georgie's community to whoever is listening. Now, why do I say it's unlikely? The only reason I say it's unlikely is because at this point, there are rumors or news in general coming out saying that Maggie may not actually return in season 10 and that, you know, we may never see Maggie on the TV show ever again. So if that's the case, then I just don't see a reason for them to include Maggie's voice in the radio at the end because if she's not going to come back why would you even include that you know what I mean and also it's not like she made an appearance and they couldn't exclude her you know it was on the radio they could have very well changed it before the episode aired if they really wanted to if it made sense so because of that I am leaning more towards it not being Maggie could it be Georgie it's possible that it could actually be Georgie herself and, you know, they could work around that story that way. Although this is also possible, I think it's unlikely because if they do that, they have to integrate Maggie in the story in some way, shape, or form. And if Maggie's not going to come back, I don't think they're necessarily going to do that. Next up, I actually have three characters 
on the same level. And these characters actually come from Fear the Walking Dead. This is actually a very popular theory as well. We have Alicia, Althea, or June. Now, if they do something like that, that definitely builds up the story for yet another crossover between The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead, between the two shows. And obviously, if this is true, it's going to be the other way around this time. It's not Dwight or Morgan going to Fear the Walking Dead from The Walking Dead. It's the other way around, where we have a hint that a character from Fear the Walking Dead is going to be going to The Walking Dead. Now, there are definitely things that are pointing towards that. One, on Fear the Walking Dead for season five, the main kind of story that we're getting is that that group is contacting people, trying to find people that are out there. We've seen on the main trailer that was recently released, them trying to set up the radio tower in order to be able to contact people further out. So it's definitely a possibility that that's a hint at what's to come. And if that's true, then I think any of these three characters, Althea, June, or Alicia could be the one that's going to be transitioning over. Although I think Althea is the one that has the highest chance of going over to The Walking Dead. The reason I didn't pick Alicia or June is because Alicia, I feel like she's like the forefront character of Fear the Walking Dead and they're not gonna move her. And June, I feel like the connection they have with June and John is something that they've been building up for a long time and I don't think they're gonna eliminate that unless they move both of those characters to The Walking Dead, which is interesting if they do. But I think Althea is definitely a good choice to bring over if the person on the radio is in fact a fear character and if they are going to bring a fear character to The Walking Dead. Now Althea's connection to Morgan and potentially who she might have interviewed in the past that are Walking Dead characters could make her a good candidate to go over The Walking Dead's original show. And also the fact that she's a journalist could feed into that as well. And we could potentially have the two shows connecting in very interesting ways with her trying to get everyone's stories. You know what I mean? So there's definitely a possibility that it could be Althea. Last but not least, Madison Clark. If it is Madison on the other side, that means that obviously she didn't die and she's still alive. And in a way, it could work because on Fear the Walking Dead, they're not necessarily relying on Madison and they're not really waiting for her and she's not really a part of the story anymore. It could very well bring her into the Walking Dead story and not really impact Fear the Walking Dead at all. And also, if they do that, it would be one of the biggest and the biggest twist in story in terms of a big crossover between the companion and the mothership show. But me, I'm not really in favor of that. I don't think Madison coming to The Walking Dead really does anything other than being a fan service type of thing. It's kind of like bringing Morgan from The Walking Dead to Fear The Walking Dead. It didn't really do too much in Fear The Walking Dead. It did, but at the same time, it felt like it was forced in a way. Now, the other thing I do want to say is that if it is Madison, then they're going to have to explain very well what happened to her, how she disappeared, why she didn't just look for her people, and what got her to move to the direction where the survivors in The Walking Dead are, and how she kind of integrates into that story. But my top picks at this point would be Stephanie, Jadis, and Maggie. Now, I have a poll on my Twitter. You can go on my Twitter and participate asking, who do you think was the voice on the radio in 916? I have four top picks right now. I have Jadis, Maggie, Alicia, and Commonwealth, anyone from Commonwealth. These are the most popular opinions. So that's why I have them up there. I've had eight votes so far. 63% think it's Maggie. There's still five days left to participate, so definitely go there and let me know who you think was on the radio. And obviously, if you don't think it was any of them, comment on that Twitter poll or even on this video letting me know who you think was on the radio. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads.